Hello. Uh, okay, in this podcast, we're going to talk uh, about uh, sets. Okay, sets. Uh, what, what's a set? A set is um, one of the most fundamental and primitive objects in mathematics. And actually, it's really easy to understand what a set is. Uh, it's really intuitive. A set is just a collection of things. Okay. Um, these things could be literally anything. Okay, so a collection of things is a set, and a set is a collection of things. So, um, how do we define a set? How do we represent a set? So, normally, you, you, you could be used to the notation of uh, Venn diagrams. So, this is a set containing the elements A, B, and C. We can call it Z. I don't know why. Um, we, we, we're not going to use this notation here, because it, it's quite... Uh, expensive in terms of uh, drawing skills. We will be using um, the curly brackets notation. So this is a set, okay? This is set. Uh, so the curly brackets are telling me that I'm building a set, and this set contains something, which is listed uh, inside the curly brackets. So you can list the elements of a set. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, this is the set containing the elements A, B, and C. Okay. Um, you can give a name to the set. So you can say that A, for example, is a set containing something. Okay. Um, sometimes it's not really efficient to list the elements of a set. For example, if your set um, uh, as a large number of elements or an infinite number of elements, you may want to use a more uh, more efficient notation rather than just uh, try to list all the elements, uh, spending your all your life doing that. So um, a way to do it uh, it's to define what an element of the set uh, looks like. So in this case, let's say A is the set set um, containing elements of the form w such that w is I don't know an even number okay so this is a definition we're saying what uh, w looks like and the w is an element of a so each element of a is an even number um, this is a symbol to remember. This symbol here means belongs. Okay, so W belongs to oh, belongs to A or W is an element of A. Um, you know, maybe it's easier to memorize this as element. Hmm? Maybe I don't know. Okay. So, um, oh yeah, what you you can uh, use fancier notations if you have uh, fancier sets to define. For example, I m might define this set to be x, y, z uh, such that x is equal to z. So, if for example. Um, these elements here are, I don't know, placeholders for symbols. The elements of this set will be the elements uh, looking like, I don't know, uh, uh, <laughs> not really, um, pop, I don't know, uh, sus, mem, you know. So you can use this notation to define fancier, fancier sets, just to show you, you can. Um, so the kinds of sets we will be dealing with uh, in the course will be, will be mainly alphabets and languages. Okay. So what's an alphabet? An alphabet is a set containing symbols. For example, this is an alphabet. Okay? 
It's really easy. It's, it's nothing more than that. It's just a collection of symbols. Uh, strings, strings are not really sets, but strings are sequences of symbols. Now, um, each string is defined on an alphabet. Okay, so if S is a string and is is defined on alphabet, let's say that this is alphabet A. Okay, this notation here means the string, the, sorry, that S is a string belonging to, uh, well, this here you can think about it like being the, um, the set of all possible combinations of symbol from A. We will look at that in a minute. So, but for the moment, this is, this will contain basically, if, if this is a set, you know, this is a set, this will contain strings like this, uh, this will be a string in the set b b b b b b b b a you know so all possible combinations all possible sequences from uh, from the alphabet okay so strings are just sequences of symbols uh, from an alphabet languages are sets of strings so s such that s belongs to a this could be a language it doesn't have to be like that so if a set contains strings is a is a is a language so if uh, i don't know uh, rat is a string from you know let's say that uh, a language is defined um, on strings from the english alphabet okay we will call it a okay so let's say that uh, some language defined uh, e contains i don't know rat uh, cat mm, i don't know uh, set pc i don't know. this is a language okay because it contain it contains strings so you can have finite languages like this so it contains a finite number of elements or you can have infinite ones okay it's like a normal set so we saw what sets are what they look like why is this here I should really move it to another section so uh, we saw what um, sets look like what they are what are the sets that we will be concerned with in our course Now, operations on sets. You can build new sets from old sets, right? And um, how, do, uh, how do you do that? Using some operators. So the ones, there are many operators, the ones we will be using in this, uh, in this course, so that uh, they will serve us, um, are the union operator, this one, the concatenation operator, which can take the form of a dot, or nothing um, and the clean star operator so let's say that a is a set containing elements a b and c and b is a set containing b c and d okay what's a union b or a, well, a, a union b is just a collection so it's a set containing all the elements that are in a and the elements that are in B. Uh, particularly, so A is contained in uh, set A, B. You see that, um, so B is contained in both sets, but in our new set, in the union, it will be listed only once because it is an individual element. You don't have to list it twice Okay, C again is contained in both of them, but you list it only once because it is uh, an individual uh, element. So A, B, C, D is the set uh, coming from the union of the two um, initial sets. Okay, so we saw the union. Now let's have a look to concatenation. 
So the concatenation works like this. You take the elements from the first set, A, so those are A, B, and C. You take the elements from the second set, and you build sequences from the elements of the initial sets, right? So you start with an element in A, and you concatenate it with an element in B. You do the same for all the elements in B. So A, C, A, D. Okay. You do the same with B. So you start. You always start with a um, with an element in A, and you concatenate it with uh, the with all the elements in in B. So B, C, B, D. C, B, C, 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 D. C, B, C, 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 D. This is the concatenation, right? So this is a set. This is the concatenation. Um, okay, given that we're, we will be dealing um, with alphabets, which are sets of symbols, it's, it is nice to well, define some well okay let's define the exponentiation operator where the, it's not really an operator this exponentiation thing it's just a, a shorthand uh, for concatenations on the same set so for example a to the one is a a to the second is the concatenation of a and a a to the third is the concatenation of a with a and then with a okay so what does this mean if a is an um, alphabet. A to the one is the set containing, well, let's say all strings containing uh, all strings made from one uh, well, from only one uh, symbol. So if A is A B C, A to the one is exactly A B and C. A to the two is as we saw the concatenation, so it will be something like AA, AB, AC, BA, BB, BC, CA, CC, CD. This is um, A to the second. So as you can see, if we're dealing with an alphabet, if A is an alphabet, what you're doing is just creating strings from that alphabet which have a uh, length 2. So they contain two symbols. A to the third is all the strings containing three symbols from A. So A, 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 B, A, you know, all, all these uh, strings containing three symbols. Oops. Okay, um, special case, A to the zero is equal to the set containing the empty string. So A to the zero is a set, and it contains the empty string, meaning the string which has length zero, a to the zero, right? This is by convention. And it, okay, it's actually important, so remember it. Now that we, we saw um, this uh, exponentiation shorthand, we can define the clean star of, um, of a set. Oh, well, just to be clear, here I define this exponenti exponentiation thing uh, talking about uh, alphabets. But you can do exponentiation with whatever um, you know. If if your, for example, if A contains strings, and you do A to the second, for example, in this case, this will be A B C A B C. You see what I mean? It's just concatenation. So, well, oops. So you're just concatenating, creating concatenation of, of two elements from A, whatever the, these elements are. So they could be symbols, if A is an alphabet, they could be strings, if it's a language, for example, okay? It's not. Okay, um, so let's talk about the clean star of, um, of, a, of a set. So let's say that A is again the set containing symbols A, B, and C, so A is an alphabet. Uh, what is what is a star? A star is defined to be the union of a zero with a one 
with a2 well the union of uh, the set to the zero uh, with the set to the one with the set to the second with the set to the third blah 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 etc etc okay so what does it mean if well especially if a is an alphabet this is actually quite a intuitive uh, intuitive definition a star is equal to all the strings you can build from that alphabet so especially the empty string then you have all strings which have length 1 then you have all strings with length 2 from the alphabet A uh, B A B B B C etc etc all strings all strings with uh, length 3 length 4 you know all possible strings on on a um, again it doesn't it doesn't have to be an alphabet you know a could be whatever you know it could be for in our case we will be seeing uh, clean stars of languages so if a is for example well, let's call it B just to make sure you don't think all sets are named a uh, let's, call, let's call it C we had a B before so C star let's say that uh, let's say that C is a set containing ball chicken oh, ball and chicken is okay okay C star will be all possible combinations of these two elements or all possible sequences of these two elements okay so first of all always the empty string then so the, the actually the well yeah the empty string um, ball and chicken so all sequences of length one let's say containing only one element ball chicken is a new element chicken ball ball chicken chicken so and this is the um, this is the clean star of a language for example okay so you can do it from for uh, for a language as well okay this concludes um this podcast on sets so hopefully you enjoyed it make sure you do some exercises otherwise uh, you will completely forget about all of this okay so bye bye